Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Welcome to episode 31 of Creative Suite TV. My name's Mike McHugh, and I'd like to join in, I'd like to welcome any new viewers on YouTube or on the iTunes Music Store. Come and join in the fun because this week we've got a cracking episode about some new transparency type uh, features in InDesign CS3 and it's an absolute beauty. Before we get into it, I have a couple of little messages that I need to share with everyone. You might notice that the um, the t-shirt I'm sporting at the moment, the Planet Hollywood t-shirt, is getting a little bit long in the tooth. As a matter of fact, I just dug it up from the bottom of the drawer and I thought to myself, hey, it's time to get some new t-shirts. So off at the printers, right as we speak, is the Creative Suite TV uh, t-shirt which you can purchase now off my website if you're mad enough to want to wear one of those then join in the fun to creative suite tv help keep the show on the air even if you buy the t-shirt and just paint your house while you're wearing it that would be acceptable to me okay so uh, one other thing it's monday at the moment when i'm recording this so hopefully i'll get this out tonight and tomorrow at lunchtime, Tuesday, Australian Eastern Standard Time, I'm doing a live online Photoshop for Photographers seminar. And anyone's welcome to come along and log in and join into that. Go to the adobe.com.au website. Put that down the bottom and you can register and come and join in the fun there. And I'll be around for questions, live questions using Acrobat Connect. Anyone can join in. It just goes through your web browser, but it is an alive e-seminar and I'll be... Uh, taking that so that will be really great thank you everyone for joining in the comments on my website i hope you enjoy the tip and we'll see you soon so we have some great new uh, special effects inside of indesign and hopefully in this lesson i'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can use them Let's start off with this big question mark, shall we, on the right-hand side. We're going to do uh, use some of the effects. So you can see my panels on the right-hand side over here. Uh, we can zoom in, have a bit of a look. FX, there they are there. We click on that panel there, and of course it pops out with the effects panel. Let's have a good look at it. You can see from here that now we can have also our multiply and overlay, just like in Photoshop, the opacity. And we can affect the entire object or just its fill or just its stroke by selecting it here. A little bit like the attributes, um, no, the appearance in Illustrator. Okay. Also down the bottom here, you can see there's a little FX symbol. That's where we get all of our options from. Transparency, outer glow, inner glow, drop shadow, all of that sort of caper is available out of there. So we're going to go ahead and make a really cool little effect here. Let's color our uh, shape in blue here. I've got a black outline. We'll just remove that by hitting the forward slash. So that's no fill. Come back to our effects. Choose the pop down menu. And we'll start off with a drop shadow. So this enormous panel, there's a little preview there. Uh, I can turn that on and off as I need to. And I can move that out of the way so we can see. Um, but what we're going to do is just change the color here. And we can change the color of our drop shadow really quite easily there and we can move it a little bit closer so we can make it say one millimeter or two millimeters I work in millimeters for those of you in the States of course you can use inches or whatever you think looks good we can do that but why just do a drop shadow when we can also do an inner shadow so let's go ahead and put our inner shadow in screen and maybe we'll choose a different blue color well, that kind of looks pretty cool why would you just do a drop shadow and an inner shadow when you can also do an outer glow now? Isn't that nice? So we can highlight a little bit from under there. But of course, you couldn't do that without doing an inner glow as well. And I think that's kind of nice. Let's uh, let's make that one a little larger. Hey, what do you reckon, everyone? Yes. Now we're starting to get some funky looking stuff. Why would you just do a drop shadow, an inner shadow, an outer glow and an inner glow? and not do a bevel and emboss. I ask you, why would you? Okay, so what are we going to do here? It all looks a little bit rotten at the moment. Let's go ahead and fix this up. So we're going to turn the shadow uh, off completely. Let's let's drag that right back. We don't need any shadows. That's enough of that. 
and we'll drag the highlight all the way up so it's really bright. Now here's the kicker, okay? To make this look really cool, I'm going to get the shading angle here and drag it to the center and all of a sudden, not right on the center, but all of a sudden we get a bubbly looking piece of text. Let's put satin on it as well. And I think we're just about done there. So we've got our bevel and emboss. That looks good. No shadow at all. In a glow. That looks nice. We might even crank that up a little bit, make it a little lighter. What do you reckon, everyone? Yes. Outer glow, inner shadow, and a drop shadow. It's all very nice. Go ahead and press OK. And if we like, we can right click on that. Display performance and say, let's have a look at that high res. Wow. Well, that is kind of nice. And we can save these things, if you like, as object style. So you can see I've already got one there. This is the one I just created. Let's click it. Object style one. Yes. Double click that. Give it a name. Uh, glow two and press OK. Looks pretty cool. So here's one I made earlier. This is a really much lighter one. I kind of like that. And there we've got a little bit of a logo. Shameless self-promotion over here on the right. One more thing. Let's group these two together. This is real quick. And we're going to copy it. And we're going to edit. Paste in place. So we've got two now. I'm holding down my command or my control key. I'm going to flip them over without the shift key. So we've just basically flip them over. Notice how the effects also flip over. I like it. Just move it away ever so slightly. We're going to come back to our effects. And this time we're going to do a gradient feather. So the idea here is we can swing this around. We can swing the angle around here. You can see where I'm working away right here so that we can get the angle at 90 degrees. We can come to the transparency at the top. We can drag the transparency down just a little and press OK. And there we have it, creating reflections in InDesign. Well, if you're sick of seeing drop shadows, wait till you see how many people are going to do these things. Righto. Reflections in InDesign. Let's zoom right in. Have a good look. Sorry for jumping around on you like that. That's it. That's what we wanted to see. Everyone get onto them. I want to see as many reflections in InDesign as is humanly possible in 2007, 2008. I think it will be great. Neato. Yes, yes, yes. InDesign, you absolutely have to love it. So thanks again for tuning in. We've got something like, um, oh, look, from iTunes, I've had something like 35,000 downloads in the last sort of two months and about 52,000 from YouTube. So welcome, uh, well done to everyone on, on YouTube. Just love it iTunes guys, unbelievable. You're all fantastic. Look, if you're interested in one of these uh, t-shirts, you can see uh, up here on my, my new board, uh, we've got a fantastic uh, little diagram here. We've got, you know, it's a, it's a great t-shirt. It's got sleeves. Uh, it has a like a torso kind of area. Um, it's got a little kind of logo on, on, on the front. Uh, it's got a hole for your head to go through at the top and, and, and a hole at the bottom for the, for the rest of you to come out. It stops you from being nude. So that's a good thing. Uh, it's a great little little investment. I think so. If you're after one, it's uh, as inexpensive. It's not a profiteering thing. I just I just want to clothe people. That's really what, what I'm all about here at Creative Suite TV. Teaching people how to use Adobe software and making sure they're doing it fully clothed. Thanks again for joining in and we'll see you next week with a bit of a Photoshop tip. Oh, I'm running a poll on my website of what you would like to see. It's on my comments page. So if you want to get in there and tell me what you want to see, click on the little thing and tell me what software you'd like to see. So it's on Creative Suite TV. And go to the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.